Hey, what up my awesome viewers? It is Ryan Lee here. And you know the one thing that I noticed was that back then with the whole like vlogging thing, I always kind of remind myself that hey, you know what? Once I get a better camera, I'm gonna start making more vlogs. And then I actually end up getting a better camera, but I stop making vlogs, which is kind of funny. Anyways, here are a couple things that I like about my car, a couple things that I love about my cars, and a couple things that I don't really like too much about my car. For sure, this is... I love doing this. The fact that you can just push it and it locks. And then if you want to open it, and it unlocks. Like that is freaking awesome. I love how easy it is to just get in and out of the vehicle. And then when we're inside the vehicle, the thing that I don't like is, is this right here. It wars off over time and I know that the later year models they fix this by making it like hard harder plastic or something like that but yeah this by the way in, in my particular defense this isn't caused by me it was one of the dates that drove my car and she got really sharp ass nails and ugh, but yeah but besides that I mean the interior guys interior looks freaking nice considering how old this car is this is a really good interior and then we have the sound system the sound system dude this sounds so freaking awesome let's let's play some sound sample I'm, I'm gonna try to pull up some like royalty free songs and play it so then you guys kind of have an idea of how it sounds like. Okay, so this is what the car sounds like. And this is only at 22. So you can... It, it can definitely go up. at the door and there's one at this door here like you can feel it when you actually put your hands here you can feel it out and then oh there's like there's like a whole line right there in the back too and I don't know how well you guys can actually hear me but yeah this it sounds really awesome Look at those miles. Still going strong. Feels like a brand new car, except this, this little sensor here. There's actually nothing wrong with the tire pressure. It's just the sensor itself doesn't work. And that's the one thing I don't like about the car. But besides that, this, this is a very strong running car, despite how many miles it is. And I feel like it's just gonna keep on going and going and going. And then, oh, when you put the car in reverse, it's a backup camera. That's really nice. But there's not just a backup camera, there's actually a parking sensor. So if you get too close to something, it's actually gonna beep and let you know how close you are to it. And then, oh, look at the mirrors when it goes to reverse. It tilts down so that you can see more. Yeah, that's really freaking nice. Then we have the trunk space. 
the trunk space is nice but the one thing i don't like is that the seats you can't you can't fold them down at least i don't see any way to fold them down there's like a little pass through but that's it yeah it's, that's the one thing i don't like about this car too you can't fold down the seats So this is a weird one, but the car that I, that I drove before this one was a was a Honda Accord Coupe, and that has a handbrake, and I kind of missed doing that whenever I parked the car. I mean, I have the foot brake, but it does not feel as satisfying. So I guess it's one thing I don't like, but I don't feel like it should be like a negative against the car though, because I don't think it should be a negative against the car, but I do miss that, that handbrake whenever I park. Leg room. Leg room is actually really good, because the seats, this particular seats, I think both seats are, are pushed all the way back. And I can still sit behind, not super comfortably, but then again, the seats are move all the way back though. So if the seats move up a little bit, I'm pretty sure that I can have lots of leg room. And that's nice. And then, oh, there's also these AC vents. These, these feel really good. And then, oh, there's this dual dual sunroofs or panel roof which is really awesome this is a really nice feature of the car and then oh yeah this this is automatic like every every single switch with the windows and stuff is automatic which is really nice for me like that's a really cool feature just in case if some of you guys are wondering if you guys seen some of my previous videos before here are my tags yep that's it I think I add more as I go along, which is awesome. Another cool thing is how old the car is and how much I sat in it. Like the seats, no tears, no rips. I mean, there's wrinkles, but that's pretty much it. That's really good. Like the car to me held up really, really well. And and the back seats are like super comfortable. I mean, I rarely sit in the back seat of this car, but when I do, it's, it's so comfortable back here. Like seriously, the, the, the quality, it's, it's soft. It's not like those other cars where it's super hard. This is like really soft and really smooth. Okay, so pay attention to the steering wheel all right, as I turn on the car. Like it moves to where I set it before. And then there's also memory seats too, which is nice. Because sometimes I would drive, sometimes dad would drive, and then we can just switch around like that. That's pretty nice. And oh, there's, so look at the back and then Yeah, there's there's that like sunshade. Which to be honest, I don't really use it that much, but it's cool to have. It's one of those things. Oh, and this this mirror, it it auto dims. And I think the the side mirrors auto dim as well cuz I remember there's this one time where like a huge truck was driving behind me and all of these things dimmed down making it a lot more comfortable. 
Besides the seats, like the interior actually holds up really well. Despite how old the car is and how many miles it has. There's no cracks. The wood still looks good. It's it's not clean, but then again, that's my fault. But the wood quality, it looks really good. No cracks, no breaks, no tears. Just, just a steering wheel. That's That's pretty much it. So because of the dual sunroof, the, the whole roof is black. It has this really cool effect where it's, it's all black up here. So I also really like that. And then, oh, another thing that I really like is, is the wheels. The wheels looks like money, but a thing that I don't like about the wheels is that it's it there's just too many spokes so cleaning it it's just no you, you just don't want to do that oh and then premium fuel only so it's either positive or negative depending on what you are but to me I'm gonna say it's a negative because it costs more money to fill this car up. So that's pretty much all of the positives and negatives that I can think about this car. There's a lot more positive than there are negative because this is a really nice car. And oh, the last thing that can also be a positive or a negative, depending on how you guys view this as, is that it makes me not want to buy another car because Here's the thing, all right? Okay, so kind of hear me out here. So this car has a good sound system, has push button start, has like all the safety features like parking sensors, reverse camera, and it's a 12 year old car. Now, okay, the newer cars, they might have like blind spot monitoring, which is really a nice feature. And then they might have self-driving, but I don't feel like it's leaps and bounds ahead of this particular car. So let's say if we were to get something like a 2019 Lexus, right? That has blind spot monitoring. That has Apple CarPlay. It doesn't have Android Auto yet, which I have an Android phone, so it's kind of pointless for me. And it looks better. It probably has a nicer interior, but it means I have to take out a loan to get the car and then Insurance is probably not going to be cheap on that 2019 car either, but this one, there's no loan for this car. This is all paid off. And insurance isn't that expensive on this car too. So it kind of makes me not want to buy another car unless that other car is like leaps and bounds ahead of this car, which like 12 years later, I, st I still can't find a car that's like truly leaps and bounds ahead but then again if you guys do and leave a comment down below let me know because i'm kind of interested to find out what you guys have like your little inputs on there too and the one car that i actually kind of want to consider is the rc350 f sport but then again it's just it's just the looks really like the reason why i would want to get that car is because of the looks not because this car isn't as good as that car because i think it's pretty similar and yeah that's pretty much it for me so if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed yet click on the subscribe button below there don't forget to ring that bell to become part of the mighty notification squad and as always you you right there you stay awesome mm -hmm.